From 2019 to 2021, I was the National Security Advisor to the President of the United States. During those two years, I was preoccupied with one thing, assisting the President with keeping our nation safe. Anyone who wants to do that spends a lot of time thinking about Israel for the simple reason that the Jewish state is vital to America's security. Israel is not much bigger than New Jersey, but because of where it's located, its history, and the leadership it plays in technology, Israel plays an outsized role in international politics. These damn devils, man. These devils. Got the nerve. All right. First and foremost, give an all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakah Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Now, this is, uh, <laughs> I already did this, I did this whole video, it's about 45 minutes. And Esau Edom took it off. They didn't, it, it didn't record nothing. But that's all right. It can't get you frustrated. But anyway, this, uh, that had popped up in my feed. About how, you know, how, how do you say, uh, Amer uh, you should be uh, interested in Israel and the state, the state of Israel, right? The state of Israel. Now, I got a couple of things that have popped up here uh, or that, I, you know, that I had. Again, this lesson was, you know, hey, uh, apparently Yahabashim Yahshua didn't want that to get out. So we'll, we'll just do it a different way. Since he was talking about presidents. No, let's go here first. Here we go. Anthony Douglas. See, I always go to the comments too. He said the state of Israel. Now, what are those people doing over there? What are those people doing over there? Those 1948ers, those uh, uh, J-E-U's, as I call them, you know, they're imposters, man. They're imposters, you know, imposters. Now, here it is. Here it is. All you got to do is read the Bible. The Bible says that what? That his people shall uh, uh, discontinue from their heritage, right? But they've saved. They, we've always known. The scripture says all kinds of different things about those people that have parted his land, right? So let's go here. And I think there was a couple things in here I wanted to bring up. This person says, uh, Anthony Douglas says, this person says, America is dying. America should be more interested in saving America, right? Which is what? Babylon. This place is Babylon, right? Let's see here. There was something in here that I wanted to. And please excuse me. This is a, you know, my voice is getting a little bit better. Let's see. Dying how? It's for John Smith says dying how? Stop being such a victim like y'all tell black folk. All right. And we all know we're not black, you know, but that's just how our people uh, identify with each other. And if they knew any better, that if they were rooted in the scriptures and actually read, they would understand that we are Yahweh. We are the people of the Bible. OK. So let's go here. And I had a couple quotes that were pulled up. Uh, yeah, I'll go here. I'll go here first. All right. This is uh, Theodore Roosevelt. A thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth more than any college education. You see that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Right. Who can sing that new song? You see, and this is what they're afraid of. They've got these are all these articles and all these things uh, coming out saying, should should they, should these people be uh, afraid? How many are of them are there? We don't understand. How is this happening? It's all written. It's all prophecy. It's, it, it, that's why we stay occupied in prophecy. It was prophesied that his children would wake up, right? And do what? Sing that new song. So let's go back to verse, Revelation 14 and verse 2. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters. You see? And as the, vo as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. You see? This is beautiful. Verse three, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty and four 
thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. Redeemed. So let's look, look, look up that word redeemed. Let's go on back down here because I had that pulled. I'll pull that up too. <coughs> Slovakia. Redeem. Okay. Redeem. Redeem. Compensate for the faults or bad aspects of something. See that? Uh, let's see. This one says, do something that compensates for poor past performance or behavior. You see that? Or what? Past performance or behavior. That takes me to Deuteronomy. Let's go there. Let's see. I had that pulled up. Um, Salahia. Here we go. Let's go on back. Let's, let's read this poor behavior. Because what do we do? We went a whoring, right? These people don't fit these curses, man. All right? And, and you, I'm going to stay on this subject. These people do not fit these curses. When did they go into captivity uh, with ships? When did they have a yoke of iron put upon their necks? When it, it, did any of these things happen to these people? All right? To Amalek, right? Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord, Yahweh thy power, will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. You see that? It said, if we do, then he would do, right? Jumping on down to verse 15. Esau eat them, man. They, and they, uh, see, they'll try you. They'll try you, man. The devil, Satan, he'll try you. He'll try you. But that's all right. It's going to come out, you know. Yahweh right the Zah. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. My phone had a chime on that one. So come upon thee and overtake thee. They don't fit these curses. Verse 16, curse shall thou be in the city and curse shall thou be in the field. It did, it did not say that the true Hebrew Israelites, which comprise of the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, and speckled bird, the spirit bear witness, right? It didn't say that we would own all the banking systems. It didn't say that, that we would be uh, in, in, in every country. Uh, bombing and, and raping and robbing and murdering and, and owning everything. And now it said the wicked, Job 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? All right. Who was what? Esau, Edom. Everywhere he goes, he's got everything all messed up. Clean contrary to the scriptures. All right. Yeah, that must have been the elder right there because uh, he's live now. So, you know, I'm going to finish this up. This won't be too long. Verse 17, curse shall be thy, shall be thy basket. And thy store. Okay, so let's move on down. Let's go to verse 29. Total impromptu, man. You know, since I've, since I've done the lesson already, it should be easier, right? You know? Verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Thou shalt do what? Thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Thou shalt own banks. No. Thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Thou shalt uh, uh, have uh, a huge military. Thou shalt go back to the land before Yahweh Shai comes back and sets them there. Nope. And thou shalt be, on, be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Okay? That's why he said, wait ye upon me. Let's keep on going down here. Let's keep on going down here. Um, verse 40. Five. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkeneth, hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power. See, didn't listen. We went a horn, worshiping other idols, doing all kinds of madness and craziness. See that? Unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he command thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. That's your sons and your daughters. Ultimately, uh, upon the third or fourth generation is you. Everybody's back in that lot, right? Verse 47, because thou servest not 
Yahweh thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemies, which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee. See that? He chastises his children, the ones he loves. A, a good father does that. A great, great king, a great father does that. Okay? Now, I wouldn't call myself a great dad, if you will. I wouldn't call myself that. But I damn sure chastise my children when they do wrong. The scripture said, train up a child in the way he shall go, right? And he shall not depart, right? Therefore shall thy serve thine enemies, which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Now, let's go. It's been done before and now let's do it again. Let's just go ahead and do it again. Now, look at here what we have here. When did this happen to the J.E.U.'s? When did this happen to the small hatters of the 1940s? When? When did this happen? You tell me. See, they can't answer these questions. They can't go into the Bible and they can't prove who they are. You know why? Because they know they're liars. See that? You see that right there? They know they're lying. I don't know what that is. Okay, look at that. That's northern and southern kingdom. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Our history is in the Bible. It's just right there. Scripture said, blessed is he that readeth, right? See, blessed is he that readeth. Now let's, let's move on down. Let's go on down. When did this happen to them? Well, you you got to ask yourself, you know, these damn devils, man, they got the nerve. They got the nerve. You got to ask yourself, why? Why would Babylon, the great, you know, America, that great horror. Why are you sending uh, billions and billions and billions of dollars to Israel, to the state of Israel, to the state of Israel, the Israelis, not the Israelites? It said, thou shalt be oppressed and spoiled forevermore. See that? And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into, this is verse uh, 68, Salakia. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, your homeland. With what? With ships. With ships. With ships. Woo! There, there you go right there. Call hello, you how about you, Shall I look at that right there? Uh, Salakia. Ah, dang gummit. Hey, I'm, I'm doing a video. I'll call you right back. All right. Bye-bye. All right. You know, with ships. Let's finish this up right here. Thou shall see it no more again, your homeland, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. They damn sure wasn't our friends. Yet this day we are in our captivity. They refuse to let us go. Scripture said, he that stilleth the man or if he be found in his hand shall surely be put to death. You see? And you shall be sold unto your enemy for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you, redeem you, save you. Okay? He said, it's my determination to gather the nations. Zephaniah 3, verse 8, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord Yahweh, until the day I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Now, okay, see that right there? Brothers are just putting up videos, going live. This is beautiful. He's got the spirit on us, man. Let's go. His determination is to gather the nations, right? Let's, get, let's go here because I had a couple quotes pulled up. I think I read that one. No. Uh, let's see. Let's see. John F. Kennedy. No, no, no. His brother said it. What was, what was his brother's name? I forget what his brother's name is. Anyway, suppose God is black. Uh-oh. See, that, now that's going to be a problem. And it is written. As it is written, it's the truth. And if it's, if you know what? If this truth offends you, it's not for you, man. Just click off. All right? A speculative question asked about God's being uh, black originated from one of uh, the Kennedys, but it wasn't President John F. Kennedy. No, it was his brother that said it. That's why the scripture said men's hearts fell in for fear. They're going to be afraid when they see Yahweh Shah crack them skies open. Okay, amongst other things, apparitions, you know, but when they see the true power of Yahweh, when they see it, they're going to be troubled with terrible fear.
That's the strangeness of his salvation, right? I, I read it. I'll read it again. A thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth more than a college education. That's another president. Theodore Roosevelt, he said that. But you got these people. You got these people. Israel's located in one of the toughest neighborhoods in the world, the middle. Man, whatever, man. Middle of what? East of what? You know, you got these people. Look, 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 look. This is Babylon. See that? A Biden, I know I'm all over the place. A Biden administration official is on leave. Look at this, look at this nigga. That's a whole, it's a whole man. Look at him. Tell me this ain't Babylon. Tell me this ain't Babylon. But we singing that new song, man. We ain't got no time to mess around. Like in my, my favorite movie, Crimson Tide, he said, we ain't got time to fuck around. He said it just like that, too. Excuse my language. All right. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> Let's go here. Nope. We'll skip that. It, this won't be as long. There we go. I'll read a couple of these and close out. Hopefully this is edifying, man. It just popped up in my feed. And, you know, like I said, I'm sort of all over the place, but I do I do teach that way. And, you know, and again, hopefully it's edifying. So they're going to bend them bows, man, talking about uh, they don't want uh, Iran to have nuclear weapons, which is which is arrows, man. Why? Because they think everybody's just going to be with them all the time. No, Babylon has been a golden cup, like it says right here. See? Babylon has been a golden cup, and all the nations are going to shoot the arrows again, and they're going to hit perfectly. Jeremiah 51, verse 6, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. See, verse seven, Babylon has been in golden cup. She sat upon the shores of everyone. She's laid down with everybody. She's the great whore. Come to find out, she done lay with everybody and everybody, they gonna get mad. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunk and well, through, through her philosophies, right? And all, and all her witchcraft, the mysteries. Okay. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. You see that? They're mad. All right. And they blindly, uh, these, these people blindly support uh, the state, the state of Israel, right? When Israel has, has been known, and, and this is, Israel has been known to attack uh, America's ships. That's happened before. You know, there's this thing about, you know, that 911 thing, too, but you know, it's called the dancing Israelis, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bomb for her pain? If so, she may be healed. We would we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let and let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reaches unto heaven. And it's lifted up even to the skies. You see that? A thorough knowledge. A thorough knowledge of the Bible, right? Let's get one more. I'll close that. I won't make this too long. All right. Let's go here. This is Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah. Let's, let's do that. And I'll close out right there. <clears throat> let's get, yep. That's right. Isaiah 33, verse six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh is his treasure. The fear. See that? The fear. All right. So, yeah, and hopefully this was edifying. I know it was sort of short, sort of all over the place, you know, but the, the, the truth has to be spoken, man. These people, these people, man, they double and triple down on this and that. But they can't prove none of it with the very Bible they claim to come out of. Of which they do, but they're Esau Edom, not Jacob. See, they're Esau Edom, they're the devil the Bible speaks of, man. You know, so giving all praise, honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone of whom I learn from daily.
getting ready to pop up another video, uh, uh, go to another video, another video, and another video, and another video. Keep pushing. Okay? And, and, and one more thing before I get up off here. Please pray for the brothers, you know, in the Midwest, uh, down there in Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, you know, certain other places. I heard there's, uh, there's supposed to be a uh, you know, pretty bad inclement weather, you know, down that way. And pray for the brothers, man, that, that they be safe through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimmy Abishai. Okay? Every chance you get, chant this place down. DTA in Kwam Yasharala, Wa Abiba Ball. Boom! Shalom. Pray for those brothers.